everyone, and welcome back to Pain to the Max. This is episode two. Last time we got an introduction to this uh, very enjoyable shooter experience. Uh, it's quite fun indeed. Um, we are in the first act of the game, and we've been going through a few chapters within that act. We're currently in a bar. We just shut up the place. Uh, Real Men Drink Casey. Alex Casey from Alan Wake 2. Foreshadowing. One hell of a reference. That woman's dead. Let's proceed with the game. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Um, that man. All right. Um, look, I'm going to be real with you. I'm going to be real with you, Chief. I didn't expect that man to survive like three shotgun blasts to the chest, but also um, that man do have a lot of body armor on him, as you can see. So, sheesh, let's... All right, now I'm prepared. So now we're going to do... Now we're going to do one of these. He's got his fucking pants down. There we go. Liar, liar, pants on fire. God fucking damn it. Okay, man's built like a fucking brick shit house, And we got a new weapon, an Ingram. I've never used that before. Never even heard of this weapon before in my life. An Ingram. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it's one of the, oh, that, no wonder I got sprayed and died so quick. Little, little Uzi type thing. Okay. Little subby machine gun. Gotcha. We're right back into it because we kind of like. Which board was still in use. Uh, we're kind of like, like right into it because um, we just needed to find a suitable um, place to end the episode. Um, but that meant that we're like still like kind of halfway between a firefight there. Um, so we really just had to get back into it. There was an old telephone switchboard in the back room of the reception area. The kind that made phone tapping child's play. It wasn't hard to picture a fat pimp sweating with headphones on, listening to his hookers talk dirty and fake orgasms over a web of party lines, the blood veins of New York. Right now, there was a different set of moans and groans going on. Boss, I got it. This Max Payne. It came, started capitalist. He killed him. was out. A deadly virus released into the city's corrupt circulatory system. Something wicked this way comes. Max Payne at large. Max Payne at large. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, the voice, uh, the voice lines a little bit too quiet, but I, I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. Um, the sound effects are real loud. Sound effects are real loud. But the voice work, I'm gonna have to like manually like bump that shit up in post, you know what I mean? Because it's just too quiet. It's my biggest pet peeve with video games is when they're like, boom, explosions, blow your ear off, footsteps, louder than, you know, louder than normal. And then dialogue, we're fucking whispers, man. Biggest pet peeve ever. <laughs> All right, I've adjusted the audio levels a bit. Maybe it'll be okay. Um, it may be too much, but who knows? But unfortunately, yeah, just the, the, the goddamn uh, voice lines, way too quiet, but I've adjusted some things, so maybe it'll be better. But also the sound effects are loud as is. So it's just, we're gonna, we're just gonna take it as it comes, baby. Just gonna see how we go. Okay, we're on the first floor. Time to go into the club. Wait, the club? Okay. This is a great opening. Club, restrooms. Condom machine. No? <gasps> I failed. Wait, I can win this. We've immediately entered the club and it's gambling time. Is it possible to win? Oh, 
I wonder if it has the same result every time. It feels very likely it's going to have the same result every time. It's rigged. It never changes. Rigged. And then, guys, the next one I was going to win because that's how gambling works. You think you could take my money? What? You think you can take my money? Oh. All right, we shoot another club. It's the same every time. Unbelievable. All right, we're outside. What a packed bar. <laughs> We jumping in. That was dr not dramatic enough. Okay. Oh, they just opened the gate. Oh god, they just opened the gate anyway. Oh shit. Dude, his eyeballs. <gasps> Look at his eyeballs. What the fuck? <gasps> if you shoot the water tank, it actually reacts. Amazing. Look at that. Water physics. Welcome to New York. Can we destroy this? Bonk. Bonk, bonk. Going out the exit, apparently. Okay. Out of here, baby. Get me out of this. Get me out of this shit, old baby. Chapter five. Walk away, blow town. That would have been the smart thing to do. Guess I wasn't that smart. Lupino's tenement buildings were a seedy hangout for all kinds of sleaze. A liquor store, a pawn shop, a laundromat full of mobster bookies and loan sharks. The list went on. The how and why of it was a mystery to me, but they knew I was a cop. They knew I was coming, and they were going to get real trigger-happy about it. I got to see Lupino's hangout all lit up. A bomb went off, turning snow into liquid gold. A pillar of fire lifted the remains of a car straight up into the air. The flames were highlighted on the hood of a black Mercedes-Benz as it coasted down the street real slow, as if the driver didn't have a worry in the world. I got a good look at the man riding shotgun. It was Vladimir, the head of the local Russian mob, the fly in Don Punchinello's suit. The ringing in my ears was the sound of a mob war being waged. Vodka. I got. The, I'm Russian, so my number plate is vodka. And I'm drifting around corners. Oh. Good driving. Dude, the road was empty. The road was empty, goddammit. Well, that's one way to make sure you can't be followed. The bomb exploded inside the closest slum building. It was a lucky break. The goons inside were spooked, but luck always came with a price tag. More bombs could still be taken inside, and the cops would already be on their way. Jack Lupino's suite was on the top floor. At least it used to be before the explosive makeover. At least it used to be before the accident. Excellent general adult videos. Fucking hell. Okay. Ridiculous. Oh, you can have dual Ingrams. Okay. Nice. Thousands of triple X videos. Cleaners. I don't 
don't know about this. Quit worrying. Eh, think of it as Christmas. The Russians are with Santa. Think of it as Christmas. The Russians are Santa. Dang. Yep. <laughs> Very good. Very well done. Good pun shop here. We got phones, we got watches, we got sunglasses, we got televisions, we got one gun. Can I actually pick that up? Yep. I can actually take that gun because I was like, it looks more fucking rendered than the rest of everything else. We access no res accept no responsibility for last or stolen property. They just got ammo on the shelf like that too. Crazy. Alright. It's like Christmas. Johnny's Deli. The classic flaming barrels thing. Like, it's so interesting to me. <laughs> Gotta heat up this alleyway. The headlines were a depressing read. The headlines were screaming bloody murder. The storm was a screaming duet with the approaching prowl car sirens. It was all a scream when you were down for the count and wanted for murder. Dead. DEA dead on arrival. Shotgun ammo is full. Are we going down there maybe? Do we go in here? We go on around the back. All right, confirmed. <laughs> what? The oh! Oh! Ah, got you. <laughs> I love that this is just unapologetically just such a romp such an action game in a great way like i just haven't had a good shooter that's just fucking like great atmosphere and it's just fun Get away. Get away. you just enter a room and you just slow motion run diving in there shooting everyone up oh no. Oh no. these guys are great always good company let the gun do the talking. The whole building was rigged with explosives. This place is going to fall apart on me. Hey, yo, open up. Hey. Okay. Oh, I see. We were in the clear. We we were not in the clear. <laughs> the whole building was rigged with explosives. All right, we're doing well. Oh no! Do I have to shoot the top off? Ah, oh, there we go. All right, am I good to go now? Thank you. That's fucking hilarious. Oh no! Oh no! I thought they were enemies! No! Jesus! Those death sounds! Oh, I thought that they were like fucking assholes. Damn it. Well, I just killed some, uh, killed some edge users. They, they looked at me funny. that you're going to shoot me. <laughs> oh. A 
beaten up phone in the entrance hall was ringing. It could have been just a junkie in need of a fix, but it turned out to be something more sinister than that. Am I speaking to Mr. Payne? Who wants to know? My name is Alfred Wooden. You must hurry. The police are on their way. Tell me something I don't know. They know you're there. How? And what's it to you? I will contact you again. The cops arrived, sirens singing in the off-key harmony of a manic depressive choir. I had a few minutes while the SWAT team would go through their usual routine. By the time they busted in, I needed to be long gone. Max Payne, this is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Jim, my old friend. What was that? No good. Ooh, his best friend's dying together. Oh my god, the place is falling apart. Everybody's falling apart over I need a key for the locked door, okay. Oh, well. It's a good thing this one's locked like this. left a letter on the counter. Suddenly it all made sense. The bombs, the Russian mob boss making an appearance in person. Gogniti was his usual self. All talk and no walk. After I hit, the Russian has only a couple of guns left, and they can be bought. There's no freaking way he has the guts to try anything after that. As it turned out, the Russian had plenty of guts. One thing he could count on, you push a man too far, and sooner or later, he'd start pushing back. He's pushing back? All right. On the shelf. Such a large key. Giant-ass key on the shelf. There he is. <laughs> Diving in after him while narrowly avoiding shotgun. Oh! Shotgun shells from someone else. Right, where's this guy? Where's this? Oh! There he is. Oh, dude! Okay. Ah! Oh, my hand's down my pants. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. Jump up the stairs. Ah, I'm up the stairs. Where is the fucking guy at? Come on, mate. Oh my jeez. Louise. He was really coming for me, man. Alright, we back. We back. I forget that I have my quick save. Hey, hey, hey! All right. Oh, by the way, MC uh, plus uh, S A K. <laughs> Check your corners. Ow! Whoa! Oh, fucking hell, dude! <laughs> Jesus! Just trying to. Oh! Just trying to navigate this environment. I missed. Oh! Oh! Ah, oh! Ah. Oh God! The sideways grip and everything. Look at him go. Incredible. What a show. My favorite. Static. What a dump! Oop. Chapter 6, Fear That Gives Men Wings. The bombs had destroyed all the stairs up to Lupino's office. The alternate route led there by way of adjoining rooftops. Adjoining rooftops. It's never been this cold. Never ever. 
It's like the sky's falling. Yes, sir. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I don't feel fine. I don't feel anything. Not a thing. I'm freezing my butt off. You friendly? Hey, fellas. Get fucking cold out of here. The barrel's on fire. Was that is that an actual thing in America? Like, was it an actual thing in America? Has it ever been a thing? Or is it just like a lie that like American fiction has taught me that people really huddled around flame barrels? Feels like it just wouldn't be allowed. Because the fire would just get out of control. Look at these tatties. Men's yatted up. Luigi's laundry! Make your clothes shine. Oh, oh, Luigi, the place is run by rats. Can you believe it? To get to the A restaurant run by rats. The locked door up ahead. All right, locked door. Let's go searching for the key in another house. It's fucking dark in here. I can't see shit. Where's my night vision? Oh. Hey. Oh, oh, uh, I don't know. oh, they shoot me? No way. Oh my god, they shoot. No! Boys, they shot you, not me. Oh my god. Just like. Too many. All the while they're going ah! as they die. <laughs> Fucking hell. And look, it's just our family of rats out of here. They're just chilling. They're like, what's all the commotion? You shooting up my laundry. I'm Luigi's cousin. Oh no. I'm dead. Oh no. What the oh. I can't believe that if they shoot a junkie, it's over. What the hell? I just get like ganged up on. Uh, I have to be careful where I shoot here. Oh, you're an asshole. I'm all out of put Oh, no! Fucking hell. <laughs> it's like you're letting the air out of a fucking balloon. I can't see shit in here, dude. No, don't shoot. I, I... You know the clowns at the laundry? Me? No. You're no good to me then. What? No, no, no. The laundry, yeah. I know, yeah. Just get me in there. Okay, okay, okay. Right. He's gonna get me into the laundry, apparently. You got any fucking painkillers, man? Because I'm shut to shit. I'm fucking shut the shit out of here. Alright, that's not happening. Alright, we're going down. To the laundry. One will play shot, and it's all over for me. Hey, look, it's Luigi. He's been waiting for me to get back to the laundry. Open the door, man. It's me. Open up. Let me in, quick. Not so fast. The password. John Woo. Come on. Okay, John Woo. All right. Come right in. It's a trap! It's Pete! Oh, he knew. It's a trap! John who is literally the fucking... Yeah, okay. I'm really good at doing that whole jumping through doors thing! Oh! oh fucking hell. I really need some painkillers over here. I'm in a lot of pain. I got no fucking legs anymore. So I'd just be gliding around here. Look at all this laundry. I can't believe the rats were just a front. God damn it. Luigi, you lied to me, man. I've been a customer for years. I thought you were a rat. Where's the fucking painkillers in this place? It's a laundry. Thank you. That's what I fucking thought. Right upstairs. Oh, up elevator. 
God fucking damn it. This is a mess. Got him. Fucking Pulp Fiction moment. New York City is in crisis tonight with reports of Valkyrie related gang war in the streets of the Bronx. Apparently, Max Payne, wanted for questioning in connection with the slaying of a DEA special agent earlier tonight, is waging a one man war against his former partners in crime. Among the list of casualties so far are notorious mafia members Joey and Virgilio Finito as well as Rico Muerte, himself a fugitive from the law and a suspect for several murders in the Chicago area. The NYPD has been placed on full alert. A citywide APB has been put out on Max Payne. Deputy Chief Jim Brevera has promised to take whatever steps necessary to bring him to justice. What those steps may be remains to be seen. For NYCNN TV News, this is Kira Silver. Nice little news report there. Thank you for the update. I really need us on fucking painkillers, man. Oh, it's so dark. I'm just supposed. Okay. We're a platformer now? Oh! Fucking. always end up anyway. Only. It's not me talking to the pink flamingo, but someone who looks the part down to the finest detail, except that he's evil. I'm hiding in the shadows, watching it all unfold. The flamingo speaks. He can speak here. It says, Mirrors are more fun than television. That's, mirrors are more fun than television. Somehow I know this, just don't ask me how. <laughs> and I, not me, but my double. Nods and smirks at this, like it was the funniest thing in the world. And then something goes wrong, and suddenly they know I'm there, hiding behind them, and they both turn to look at me with cold eyes. And the flamingo speaks again. That fresh old fallen angels. I have no idea what that means. And that's when I always wake up to my own scream in that brightly lit white hospital room strapped to my bed. Jesus Christ, dude. Remedy have been doing this forever. Like, it's so funny to see that, like, Alan Wake and Control have their, like, things that are so similar. And they've been doing it since Max Payne. And I fucking love that. Like, they're weird sort of live action-y or like TV segment stuff. It's like, it's so interesting that they have constantly had like a weird live action angle implemented in all of their games. And I'm really excited to see how Alan Wake 2 is going to do that. Quantum Break is still on my list. And I know that Quantum Break does it because it was like advertised uh, during the Xbox One 2013 reveal when they were like TV, TV, sports, sports, uh, fucking Xbox play sports, uh, reveal. And, um, that quantum break was revealed as like, you know, a, a TV series, but also a game. And that's kind of interesting that to me back in 2013, who had never heard of remedy before. Um, I'd never heard of remedy. I'd seen the max Payne games. Like I'd seen them, didn't know what they were. Hadn't played them. Um, at that time, Alan Wake existed, um, and then Quantum Break was announced. I had no fucking idea about the developers, their style or anything. So that experience of them doing a TV series with a game was very new to me. And I thought that, that was uh, a brand new concept. And then knowing that Remedy have always implemented some form of live action element to their games in weird ways. I just, now I can reflect on that and be like, huh, that's actually kind of a perfect reveal for them. And like the Xbox One was almost like made for Remedy with their, you know, ability to have a TV show at the same time of um, 
you know, also making a game to accompany it. So that's really cool. So I'll eventually get to Quantum Break as well. I've got to get through all the Remedy games. I've played a little bit. I did touch Quantum Break's gameplay for uh, a little bit. So I think I have vague memories of the opening segment of that game, um, but no further than that. So when I do eventually get to Quantum Break, it'll be like, like 95% blind. So it'll be it'll be an interesting one, that's for sure. I think I um, tried Quantum Break maybe around like I want to say like 2017 ish, just to see what it was like. Boom! But I can't remember, so you know, it'll be fun to actually play it uh, once I have. You know, a full, uh, a full understanding of, um, Remedy style. Where are you? Red, blue, green. It's always... Oh, I didn't... <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Shoot first, ask questions later, dude. What was... Was that a bomb? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Oh. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Even though it's scripted, I fucking love the uh, destructible environments. It's great. Oh! oh. Look at him so. Oh, oh. Look at him splayed out over there for me. Oh! oh. Look at them all. all right. Is that the last of them? Where are you all coming from, anyway? Fucking like rats, all of you. Um, oh. oh! Oh! this is where I'm supposed to be. What the hell are you standing around here for? Can I go back? Oh. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> well, hope I didn't miss anything. That's the funny thing about running around, you're just trying to see which doors open, but then sometimes you can end up in a point of no return. A little bit unfortunate, but that's alright. Because then it auto saves. Hello, it's Max Payne here. Vinny Gogniti, just the man I've been killing to see. Pain? Freaking fed! I knew from day one there was something screwy about you. What do you think you're doing? You're a freaking cop. You ain't got squat on us. You can't just come in here waving your peace like it meant something. Yeah! Oh my god! Oh god! He looks how he sounds. You're dead, Pain! What the hell are you waiting for, you apes? Kill him! Kill him! With pleasure, boss. Gagnini bailed. I made like Chow Yun fat. How did you not finish him off? Oh, okay. He's running. Okay. Did I get that guy? Oh my god. The letter lay on Gagnini's desk. The letter was addressed to Don Punchinello, but Vinny had never had the nerve to finish it. Jack's gone voodoo. Just the other night, he shot Dino because he wanted to see what his brains looked like splattered on the wall. He's a freaking mad dog. We're running out of men and business fast. Gagnetti had been living in mortal fear of his boss. Jack Lupino was a psycho. Jack sounds insane. Like, anyone can tell you that. Can they? All right. That dude's out of here. I guess we're giving chase. Follow the trail of blood. Then he got meat, he was running. Oh! He could run, but with the blood of his stomach, with the blood of his stomach, the best killer was quickly running out of time. He knew where his boss was, and I wanted to square things up with Jack. Sorry, Max Payne. He'd be moving fast. I don't know about angels, but it's fear of these men waiting. Sorry, Max Payne, you have to speak up. What is with the voice line? It's so quiet. I can barely hear what's going on in this game. Like, I can hear the booms. I can hear all the gunshots. You want a character to talk and you want to hear it? Fuck no. <laughs> Jesus, it's so quiet. And it's manageable in cutscenes because there's no extra noise, but like when it's during gameplay and he's talking, I'm like, uh, yeah? What are you saying? Just, just some of those unfortunate uh, old game things. 
He keeps swapping guns. What is going on here? Get him. Oh, come on, Max Payne. Unbelievable. Come on. Oh, my God. Are we jumping on a train, too? I should have quick saved. God damn it. No. I forget to quick save. I forget he, the quick savey. All right, let's give chase once again. If you skip the cutscene, it also skips Max just talking in general. Okay, good to know. Ready? I got a quick save here. Alright, I'm gonna join. Alright, time to join you. We got this, guys. Okay, chapter 7 police brutality. This was my second train ride of the night. The way it started didn't promise anything better than the last one. Freezing wind tearing at my face like sandpaper and razors. Ice hard and slick under my hands and feet. And somewhere in the background, the wail of sirens. The city howling after me. New York sped by and fast forward. Dark rooftop water towers and a dead forest of antennas and chimneys, all a blur. When the train he was riding slowed down, Gagnetti made his move. <laughs> He's bleeding out the fucking train. <laughs> the fucking front flip. Like, what? My god, man. How do I know where he was? Incredible. Oh my god, look at this duplicate. <laughs> Okay, slow motion shooting. Incredible. Parkour. <laughs> I love the cinematics. The presentation is incredible. Is he? Okay. Are we giving chase? All right. I guess we're giving chase. Okay. What the blood trail? Oh! Jesus! It'd be nice if the enemies carried uh, painkillers on them. Uh, where do you go? Where did he go? <laughs> oh, did he go? Oh, yeah, he jumped, didn't he? I barely made that. Wait, who the? Oh, hey, Jesus! Ah! Oh, I see him. He's running. Got the police chopper. Cool camera angle. Oh, we didn't get it for long enough. That's a great shot. <laughs> right, come and get it, boys. Come and get it, boys. Come and get it, boys. Oh, we haven't had a cinematic kill in a, little, in a hot minute. There we go. Nice. Who else wants some? Okay. Look at the fucking handprints, dude. Oh, Painkillers. Just two? Okay. I'll pop them. 
I'll be popping them. Oh, I was predicting someone, but he was too far away. I need to use, all right, let's use our Ingram, dual Ingrams. This dude really just unloading on me, man. What the? Oh. Wait, I can't even see where you are. Oh. I get it, dude. I had no, ch I had no fucking chance against that dude. Oh man, no painkillers. I can't even see where this dude is. Is that a painkiller down there? Oh, I'm still alive by the skin of my fucking teeth. I'm still in it, baby. Right, where's this fucking dude? Climb up like a okay. How do I? Oh. oh, he shot me. Oh my god, dude. No, how's he still alive? It's really hard to shoot long distances. I'm still alive, dude. That's not over for me yet, baby. All right, that might not be the way to get up. Of course, he's already taken this and left. Right. What the suck? Oh, I knew it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's fucking no. Ah! Oh, I can't afford to miss this shit. I'm almost so close to death. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. What the? Oh, okay. I know where you are this time, you asshole. Alright. Oh! Thug jump scare. Alright. I think I got more health now. Jesus, man. It's all hip hop happening. Now I have a better chance getting this dude on the roof. This dude at. Got him. Alright. Nice. Where did he come from? Why am I blowing up? No! <laughs> Where did that dude even come from? Oh my lord. Alright. I got this. Pain meter, dude. I am like, oh! I will be tickled and I'm dead. Oh, they always run. What a spray did a pirouette. So dramatic. Oh, painkillers. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I'm almost there, baby. I'm just fucking hanging on. Don't give up. They give up, baby. You never know when your painkillers are right around the corner. Daddy needs his drugs. K 
Captain Baseball Bat Boy. He's back. He's mean and he's got a bat. I don't know why I thought it would just break the glass and also go down. Okay. I'm in a situation here. <laughs> okay. oh, there you go. I used the grenade to break the glass too. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> there was a there was genuinely a thought process there where I went, I wonder if the grenade will break the glass. And I was like, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And then um, it didn't break the glass. <sighs> Just in case you wanted to know my thought process there. Oh, I could have blew that up as well. Okay. Whoa! Okay, we got exploding enemies now. We got dudes carrying live bombs. We got just dudes blowing themselves up. Left, right, and center, man. They're like, if I'm going out, I'm taking you with me. I'm carrying a live grenade. Jesus. Valkyr. Like, yeah, can you just tag Valkyr a bunch of times? And then do a high effort version? Hello? Ooh. <gasps> yes. Who the fuck's flushing? Max Payne has nowhere left to go. We are very close to capturing him. You'll get a full statement then. Right now, I've got better things to do, ma'am. That was Deputy Chief Jim Rivera from the NYPD with no further comment at this time. Apart from his suspicious food habits, I figured Bravora to be one of the good guys. Fate had just dropped us on different sides in this. But when it came to capturing me, he was way out of his league. I had already ditched the cops a couple of rooftops back. For now. For now. Oh, man. This guy's fucking dead, man. All right. You guys ready? Ah, oh, God. He's right there. It's no fun when you hide around a corner. Oh, the group. Oh, fuck. Oh! <laughs> no! Boys, let's talk about this. It's not too late to have a conversation. Oh. Ugh. Okay. Fuck. Fellas, please. Uh, they, do, they, they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to have a conversation with me? Fine. What is this curtain doing, really? Alright. <clears throat> no, how about you? No, you! Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I tried my best. Ah! <laughs> fellas, fellas, fellas. Yeah, why is it just one of you? Why is it? Why no cocktail? What? Disappointed. Okay. Damn it. Apparently I aimed for the corner. Shit. Where the fuck did he go? He fucking... Oh! That was disappearing on me. Oh! The grenade! Unbelievable, sir. Have you not heard of etiquette? Alright, can we destroy... Can we go through here? If we destroy this? No, that's blocked. That do be blocked. This is a linear experience. Hello? Oh! 
me, God damn it! Pain! Pain! All right, is it time? Is it finally time to kill it? Oh God! Um. I didn't do anything. Um, surely hoping that grenade would have done something. Apparently not. It's just easier to just not bother with the grenade. That's what you get for reloading behind outside of cover, you bastard. Crazy. Oh my god! Stop it! Right, I've gotta use a different weapon. Get fucking sprayed! Oh. Right, there we go. <laughs> Jesus. Gagniti ran out of steam in a dead end alley with steam boiling out of the sewer grates like all the fires of hell were burning high beneath us. It was shake down time. Shake down time. Where's Lupino? Screw you! Bad start, Vinny. Police brutality! I rate pretty high on that. You, 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 you can't just hurt me in cold blood? Uh, just keep telling you. You wouldn't punch a guy with glasses, would you? <gasps> Listen good, candy man. I'm not gonna be anybody's fall guy. I wanna know where your boss is hiding. There was no glory in this. I hadn't asked for this crap. Trouble had come to me in big dark swarms. The good and the just were like gold dust in the city. I had no illusions. I was not one of them. I was no hero. Just me and the gun and the crook. My options had decreased to a singular course. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, just don't hurt me no more. Lupino's at Ragnarok, Rock, the nightclub. <laughs> Take me, take me, hold me to the freaking jail, just don't hurt me. Your rights will be read at your funeral. <laughs> Dang. Chapter 8, Ragnarok. <laughs> Ragnarok was Lupino's private nightclub. A den of drugs built into an old theater. I knew what waited inside. V had junkies ready to explode in random acts of senseless violence. And Lupino's goon squad, the worst stone cold killers this side of hell. Ragnarok was as inviting as a headache, flickering and flashing to a machine gun beat. The belly of the nightclub was a gothic theme park that began with bondage games and led to the nasty stuff from there. Oh, it's so cheesy, but I fucking love it. As subtle with its dark message as a cop killer bullet through the heart. Like father, like son. Just like Jack Lupino. Zombie demons. From outer space! Okay. Anyone got any painkillers in this club? Because boy howdy, I'm in pain. Max pain. The Ragnarok stamps. Amazing. Love the aesthetic. Okay. Um. This. Is there a open door button? There is. There isn't. Where was the okay? What? Did, oh! Oh! I opened a fucking door. Okay. Jesus. Yep. The book had never been a bestseller. Given the setting, I was surprised to find that somebody had been passing time reading. The paperback was entitled "The Age of Murder and Storm." The blurb on the back mentioned Norse mythos and Ragnarok. The end of a Viking world with a terrible winter that covered the earth in ice, when vile crimes were rampant and all humanity lost. I could see how somebody impressionable might get it into their head that we were at the end of time. I was also beginning to see what the nightclub and its owner were all about. So cool. Oh, this music. So 
Sounds like we're due for a banger. circle oh my god okay dude the fucking atmosphere of this is so cool where are you bud where are you throwing that shit down from oh, oh. how many bars they got in this place they got bars, but the bars in their bars. Are they, is that a ninja? That's just a man in a trench coat? What the fuck? I'm like, they got ninjas. <laughs> it's fucking Wesker. Wesker. What are you doing in Max Payne? <laughs> Dude, this is so good. Okay, wait a sec. Alright, let's go. Into the mouth. such as Necronomicon, Witchcraft, and Paradise Lost. Old exotic titles like Malleus Malfacarum and De Umbrarum Rainy Novum Portis. Books with pentagrams on their covers all dealing with the occult and the infernal. Lying between stacks of horror videos and a couple of Ouija boards. The only thing I could take seriously was the thought of Lupino taking it seriously. He had been spending a lot of time getting intimate with the guy downstairs. Yeah man, the devil. <laughs> the heartbreak. Oh man. Incredible. <laughs> Chapter 8. Still. Ragnaruki. He shot his friend! He fucking shot. I don't. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't even know that was possible. Look at that camera angle. Love that. <laughs> fucking hell. That threw me off guard. The fact that you can, they, they can shoot and kill each other. Snake! 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 Alright, let's try again. Um. With Dino and all. I wouldn't say anything to his face. Uh, he just shot him again, dude. Ah. I can't get this dude through the fucking table. I was painkillers on the shelf. Amazing. Oosh. Look at all these cash. Sound of pigeons? Oh my god! 
<laughs> okay, bye. See ya. Where did you Careful not to fucking fall down. Jesus. It's a long way to the bottom, boys. Oh, it's fucking cold out here. Oh god, what? Really? Okay. Am I okay? It is pigeons. That's hilarious. <gasps> and so he fell to his fucking death. <laughs> the fuck? God fucking damn it. This camera angle is so stylish, but damn, I can't see shit. Shooting nothing. Alright, um, now there's gonna be a dude down there. So I must be prepared for him. Oh. I was expecting this room there. Got him. Alright, don't fall. It's just so hard in the fucking dark, dude. It's not a fucking dark, dude. Me looking for a fucking jump. <sighs> oh, where are we where are we dropping, boys? Where am I going? Ugh, slowly turn my camera around. I guess we're uh, doing a bit of this. Okay. Nobody, nobody come out and shoot me, okay? I'm... Ugh. Oh, no, okay. I really didn't realize just how much goddamn circus work I was going to be doing in this game. This level. Let me tell you. Circus pain. Quick save before I perform any activity. <clears throat> Just run straight. First try. <laughs> Jeez. Who has enough health to use melee weapons in this game, honestly? Ugh. It must be like, if you're not playing on hard, you're able to whack him over the head, but you're really not gonna, you're really not gonna lose ammo. There is an abundance of ammo. Oh, look at all those painkillers. Thank you. Very smart of you to run up the stairs like this, fellas. Oh, ah, my ears are ringing. The shotgun went right past my ears. Can we play the drums? Let me play the drums. <laughs> the same drum. <laughs> Karaoke never was my scene. Karaoke never was my scene? <laughs> How do they can interact with it? Ah, uh, just once? Uh, just the once. Just the one time only. Oh. <laughs> it just reminds me of fucking Ma uh, Alan Wake. Oops. Oh 
Oh, 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 oh. oh. Dropping in on me. I'm really just opening this place up. Oh, I gotta do multiple controls? Hang on. Is that open? I think that's open enough. I don't know, I just work here. Nice. Grenade! Ah! Surely you can get him from here, Max. Max! Stop auto-aiming if you're not gonna fucking even hit your target. Unbelievable. falling deaths how many falling deaths am i gonna have in this fucking just this episode oh. ah. ow jeez As he runs through. Oh, I got one. Yes. I was so disappointed for a second there. I was like, what? Surely. Yeah, cool. <laughs> it works. It actually works. need to fall from the top now. And I will save. <sighs> okay. Is that gonna just fall? Chapter 9, An Empire of Evil. The backstage area led to Lupino's inner sanctum. The hot air inside was like an invisible wall, thick with incense and something else. A sickly sweet smell that made you gag. <laughs> this was the rotten core of the Big Apple. Lupino lurked somewhere ahead, like a spider at the center of his web, waiting. Human sacrifices! The air started to make my head swim. Torn pieces of a letter lay scattered on the sofa. Silent Hill? Quincinello had threatened Lupino in writing. The note had been torn to pieces, bloody fingerprints all over them. Don't want you to think that one of my boys is not playing with a full deck. Shape up, Jack. We are running a business here. I'd hate to send the trio to strong arm you. The trio were the Don's notorious henchmen. It was obvious that Lupino hadn't been intimidated by the threat. Jesus. Lupino's notes covered the table. Interact. 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 It's, why? Why? He's looking at it, okay? Oh. Jack Lapino was crazy, all right. This is the table. Scattered with notes of demented arcane nonsense written in rusty blood. Mishmash list of demons, devils, and dark gods evoked. Beelzebub! Asmodeus! Baphomet! Lucifer! Loki! Chitulu! Lilith! Hela! Blood given to you all. He was after that old Faustian deal. Your soul for power and fortune. Just sign on the dotted line with your blood. Nice, okay. Cthulhu. Lupino's notebook lay on the pedestal. Oh, okay, I had to do it in order. 
Jack Lupino was crazy, all right. Mythic wolves let loose to devour the sun and the moon. Lupino is the wolf. I'm Mr. Beast. The big Fenris <laughs> wolf. I'm the end of the world man, wearing the flesh of fallen angels. After Y2K, the end of the world had become a cliche. But who was I to talk? A brooding underdog Avenger alone against an empire of evil, out to write a grave injustice. Everything was subjective. There were only personal apocalypses. Nothing is a cliche when it's happening to you. Fucking <laughs> after Y2K, the end of the world was a cliche. <laughs> this dude said he was Mr. Beast. But not the good one. Not the one who gives people money. The flesh of fallen angels! Come to me all! Astaroth, Beelzebub, Asmodeus, Baphomet, Lucifer, Loki, Satan, Jatulu, Lilith, Ella! Blood to you all! Oh, I found them. Secret? Living under the skin of reality. I've seen it. The corruption of flesh! Gravity Falls? Oh my god, he's turning into a fairy! He's turning into a fairy! Quick! Get him! I've come, all right. It's now! I will rise to her side! I don't need the words! I'm beyond the words! All right, where are you? So I can shut you the fuck out with guns. Where you at? He's just stocking me up with everything I could ever possibly need, just in case. That's so great. Hello? Oh my god, the bell tolls. <laughs> what the? Ah! Oh! Oh my dude, look at all this shit! I'm Mr. Beast! Get down from there, sir, it's dangerous! Oh my. Yeah, mate, I dare you to throw a Molotov in the fucking bath. Throw it in the bathtub. How many of these bastards I gotta fight? Oh, I'm taking a swim. <sighs> and so I bathed in holy water and I said, see you in hell. I'm out of, actually out of my jewel berettas. I never thought I'd see the day. Oh, I'm almost dead. Jesus, I didn't even notice. How many of these fuckers are there? Oh my god. He's so casually dressed. I had known there'd have to be a catch. Oh, the teddy! That was the Empire State Building of catches. Lavino just pumped up and died to go 15 rounds with a mutant alligator. And then he started this spooky monkey talk, straight from a bad dream. Mine. I have tasted the flesh of fallen angels. I've tasted the devil's green blood. It runs in my veins. I've seen beyond a world of skin, the architecture of blood and bow and arrow. Death is coming. She is coming. And hell follows with her. This is the twilight winter. I am ready to be her son. <laughs> her time is now. And all who stand in her way must die. <laughs> <laughs> the facial expressions. All right, so you want to... <laughs> You'll die! You'll... <laughs> I can't believe I'm fighting a Redditor. This is insane. <laughs> this feels like Harry Potter when we're all like throwing fucking firecrackers at each other and shit. 
Oh, he's he just he just took all of those spots. Fuck. Pino finally went down. <laughs> to make real sure he'd stay that way. Quadruple tap. Bad monster. Turn them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. But dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. You've got the wrong guy. Part two. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure. And you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello is the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact. I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? <laughs> New wife. I'm easy. As long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. Uh, uh, my tummy hurts. He fucking got drugged. He's literally made a joke about it. It was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Oh, not the baby. Am I going to have a fucking... Oh, no, I'm reliving... He was crying. Oh, no. Reliving the fucking night again. Wow, dude. I look like fucking G-Man from Half-Life from this angle. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> but, like, not in a bad way at all. Like, it's great. It's just like... I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it just takes you on a fucking ride. And then it just, like, jumps into part two immediately. Like, the story... No fucking breaks on this train. Like, there's no, like, press A to continue. There's no, like, just, like, have time to collect your thoughts. It's, like, part one, nine chapters. Part two, keep it going, baby. <laughs> and it's fucking fun. Like, this game is so fun and the, it's so cheesy, but super enjoyable. I think some of the dialogue and how it's written is just, it's so satisfying to, like, hear and listen to. It's great. And then there are other things where I'm like, what is this? <laughs> so... I'm like, yeah, I love whiskey. Just as long as you don't drug me. Ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> ah, I've been drugged. <laughs> and now I'm going to have a fucking nightmare where I relive my wife and child uh, being killed. Amazing. Um, now that we are in part two, we are going to be bringing this episode of Max Payne to a close. There, are, there really is just no solid point to end an episode because the game has zero breaks. It just keeps going. So Mona Sachs, Lisa's evil twin, who doesn't know how to take the safety of a gun, apparently. But there you go. Uh, I had a great time with episode two of Max Payne. We have now entered part two. So it might seem as if we've got sort of nine-ish chapters per um, act. I don't know how many acts there are. We'll just have to find out how we go. Maybe there's only two acts. We'll have to we'll have to see. But the plot thickens. We got the wrong guy. <laughs> Unfortunately, we killed the crazy conspiracy theorist demon worshipping redditor with a face tat. Uh, and now we're going to have to see who else we're after next time. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far, as chaotic as it is. And I will see you next time. <laughs>